I'm a behind the scenes person and uh, in this case, uh, the product is, and myself are synonymous, so it's, it's different for me. I did this last year and it was crazy overwhelming and so amazing. And I can't freaking believe that there's an opportunity for me to do this again. I am, I don't know, I, it's, it's, it's a lot for me to take in, but it's amazing. Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Norvina, if you didn't already know, is the daughter of the CEO of Anastasia Beverly Hills. Norvina is also the president of the company. Norvina recently took to her Instagram story to show off her new Norvina Volume 1 palette. She was very nervous talking about the palette because she said that she wasn't used to being the centre of attention. She was very excited nonetheless to launch her new palette. There's 25 pressed pigments within the palette. Apparently this new 25 shade palette is Anastasia Beverly Hills best and biggest palette yet. I've never bought one of the eyeshadow palettes though I have gotten a few comments telling me that they're overpriced and the quality is not that great for what they are but each to their own. So let's investigate. This will be Norvina's second palette with her name on the brand. Her last palette which was an instant sellout apparently had a loud vivid mixture of colours and offered more muted tones. Norvina's new volume 1 palette is apparently supposed to be a lot different to any other palette they've ever done before. This palette is definitely a lot larger than the other palettes as it holds 25 shadows. And with more shades, there's of course more colours to play with. The colours in this palette, there's a massive mixture of vivid tones, shimmering champagne colours, royal blues and fiery oranges. So firstly, before we get into the drama, let's look at what she had to say regarding her new palette. Yay! Oh my god, I'm shaking. It's finally here, my baby! Introducing Mervina Volume 1. Completely new vibe, and uh, this is just the Norvina collection. I'll just say this much at the beginning. Um, dang, I don't even know where to start. I'm kind of at a loss for words. So I started working on this custom palette a long time ago. Um, why I say custom? Because everything about it was completely custom built. From uh, the exterior, the pan sizes, the mirror, um, everything about it. It's, I don't know, I'm so in love with it. Clearly you can tell and I'm out of breath right now because I'm overwhelmed and I'm not used to being the center of attention so it makes it a little bit hard for me. Um, but here's, here she is. So you'll notice right away, it's a lot of color. It's 25 pressed pigments and shimmers and all that fun stuff. Um, I could not even fathom naming 25 shadows. <laughs> that would be crazy. So um, everything is really moving forward. Think of it this way for all Norvina palettes. If, if ones are to happen in the future, are always going to be rows A through E, numbers one through five. It's the easiest thing. So if you need to reference what you're using, you'll just say I'm using Norvina palette volume one, um, shade C2. You know what I mean? That's like an easy reference. But what do you guys think? Of course, I have to start with purple because that's my soul color. That's my baby. But, you know, have to give you shades in there that you can transition and you can create other looks with. Low shimmers, intensity. As always with me, everything's going to be intense no matter what. So you're going to get a lot of pigment. Now, um, this is different than what you guys saw last year. Um, I don't think this is for everybody but um, it's definitely for a certain somebody, you know, people that are obsessed with color and intensity like this. Um, ah, damn, I can't even talk anymore. I'm a behind the scenes person, and uh, in this case, uh, the product is, and myself are synonymous, so it's, it's different for me. I did this last year and it was crazy overwhelming and so amazing. And I can't freaking believe that there's an opportunity for me to do this again. I am, I don't know, I, it's, it's, 
it's a lot for me to take in, but it's amazing. I, um, I was not intimidated to kind of hold back at all this time around. Um, Norvina, the OG, is still a day-to-day, -day, basically, bomb palette. Last year, when um, we launched the original Norvina, I wanted to make it digestible and wearable and not encroach on the brand at all because I think that once you go a little wacky, as some people call it, I think you can alienate some core customers. And uh, my mother had this genius idea, as she always does. I'm a nervous wreck, as you can tell. Um, my mom just said, you know, Norvina is a collection and I think that there is something to be said and you should have no fear and be creative and do so anyway i dragged this on long enough um that's it thank you guys oh yeah one more thing so i can't wait to post the campaigns i can't wait for you to see everything there's even a video that will be ready by the end of the week um i have a hard time just talking and expressing myself um i'm good if i have if i'm talking about products or what i do my job um that's easy for me but if i have to tell you how i'm feeling that's really hard however if I'm able to paint a picture, I can do that. And I can really show you. I'm really excited for the opportunity. I'm really excited to show you all the things that go on in my head and, um, and for you to get to know me better, starting with color. <laughs> That's it, I'm done, I promise. I love you guys. Dumbass, because I was so flabbergasted today that I forgot to talk about the coral lip set. <laughs> um, this is exclusive only on our website. It's not even going to retailers. It's a little moment because I love love coral lipsticks so outside of the kit um i promise they're not all the same they're just corals and um i love i don't know i'm big on corals i always think it looks absolutely freaking gorgeous with purple and uh, this set is going to be 35 dollars on our website only and they're all full size so we have neon coral pastel coral red coral and spicy damn it it got too dark right now for me to show you i need to show you this in direct Yes, I am on the roof. <laughs> I went up on the roof, but um, it's like too gloomy right now to show you the exact color breakdown, but I'm gonna do this tomorrow morning. But I will say I made the formula extra thin. You'll see tomorrow morning. It's like so thin, you don't even feel it on your lips, which is bomb, especially if you're wearing something as intense as coral. But you know, life's too short to not be intense. Now, let's get into the drama, the copycat allegations. People have been saying that her new palette closely resembles the ABHS lip palette, and it also resembles Natasha Denona's Lila palette. They look very similar, not gonna lie. People have also been saying that Norvina's new palette also closely resembles Huda Beauty's Desert Dusk palette. Hey, if they all look the same or similar, why not buy the cheapest one? Unless, of course, it's Huda Beauty. Lol. Didn't want to buy her palette anyway. Let's have a look at all those prices side by side side if we want to get really budgety. So Huda Beauty's palette is $65, Natasha Denona's palette is $230. Surely not. Okay, so I'm interested to see how much they sell this volume one palette for, especially if it's got 25 shades. Hopefully you get a good bang for your buck. But of course, go and buy the brand you love and respect the most if you've got the money to spend. But you definitely don't need all these three palettes. That would be a waste of money because they all look the same. Anyway, I can definitely see why Norvina would choose to make the palette closely resemble the ABHS lip palette. That way people can buy it together as the colors would look great together for a lip slash eyeshadow duo. People have also been saying that ABH is releasing everything all at once. They just released the Jackie Eina palette, clearly that's selling out. This year they've also released a basic Rivera palette and a palette collab with Alyssa Edwards. Maybe they just wanna shove more products down our throats whilst they're on a rock and roll. And hey, that's not always a bad thing. If people like what they're selling, want to buy it, there's nothing wrong with that. But in saying that, people have been saying the company has been launching products left, right and center. It's hard for some consumers to keep up. And or maybe the company's not selling enough of their products, so they wanna see what the customers like best and then sell more of that product. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. That's all for this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. My social media will be linked down below and I'll see you guys in our next investigation.